check it out. We got the Stormtrooper color scheme going on. This looks so nice and white with the black contrast up top with their logo and branding. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm going to be checking out the Be Quiet Shadow Rock 3 CPU air cooler. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you want to find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box. Check it out. Everything looks nice. We got a QR code right here. We can learn more about the product. We can learn more about its key features on the back side. This is compatible with Intel and AMD motherboards. We have some technical data on this side. This is a 190 watt TDP cooler. So we got plenty of cooling capacity with this, depending on the CPU that we're going to be using. In our case, we're going to be pairing this with an AMD 5900X. And on the back side, they just walk you through the five, six millimeter nickel plated heat pipes that allow us to have that high cooling capacity of 190 watt TDP. And they want to point out that thanks to its construction, it can be installed on motherboards without blocking the RAM. So we have that feature too, which is nice. So it's not going to be the most compact cooler, but it's not going to be the largest cooler either. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have our product disclaimer followed by our user guide and manual complete with a QR code. And it's in multiple languages walking us through everything we need to know to install this cooler. So check it out. Here's our Intel instructions. We can flip it over. Then we have some more Intel instructions and AMD instructions walking us through step by step. Next, we have our Phillips head magnetized screwdriver. These are awesome. We have thermal paste, four fan clips, one included cooling fan. This is the Shadow Wings 2 fan. PWM, you can see 1600 RPM. Then we have our two different bracket options, whether we're using Intel or AMD for our CPU. And then you can see our remaining bracket right here that's going to hold everything together, depending on which one we choose. And last but not least, you can see the cooler itself. Check it out. We got the Stormtrooper color scheme going on. This looks so nice and white with the black contrast up top with their logo and branding. You can see it from the side, the other side, the back side. Here it is from the bottom. You can see we have our five pipes right here and they're offset. This will work out great so we don't have to block our RAM. Now let's go ahead, let's get this installed. So on our motherboard, we have a couple of different parts and components to install. We're gonna install the CPU, the cooler, our RAM, and our M.2 drive. First, let's go ahead, let's prep for our cooler. So we're gonna remove these two pieces right here, and then we're gonna take our four screws and those four black pieces, and we're gonna drop them in place and we're gonna install those with these brackets. So it's gonna go black spacer, this bracket, our screw down in on this side, and then same thing on the other side right here. Pay attention to how we have the bracket too with that bump up. It's not gonna be a valley, it's gonna be a mountain right there. And you can reference the user guide and manual with your cooler as well, but we're doing the AM4 option right here and it is labeled for us. So let's go ahead, let's get that removed and get these installed. So here you go, you can see what one side looks like right here. Again, you're just gonna take these two pieces, drop them in place, line up the metal bracket here and drop those two screws in. For the AM4 installation, you do not use the included washers, so you can just set those aside. Now you can see both brackets have been installed. Let's go ahead, let's put the CPU on. When installing the CPU, make sure you line up the gold triangle right here with the triangle on the corner of your socket. So we have this lever right here. You're gonna go ahead, you're gonna open that up. Now we're ready to drop it in place. Again, match the triangle with the triangle right there. So we're gonna flip this around. And you can see we have the triangle on this side too. It's a little bit easier to see on the other side. And just gently drop it in place. So there we go. It just fits right in. And then you take this lever and then you snap it shut. Now we have successfully installed our CPU. So before going any further with the CPU cooler, I recommend getting your RAM installed. So here we go. We're going to take our two sticks of RAM. We're going to follow the indicator on the board. So for our first two sticks, we're going to use A2 and B2. It's only going to go one way, so make sure you have it lined up properly. And then just gently press in place. You should hear it snap. So there we go, just snapped in place. And now let's take our second stick. 
Same thing, line it up. Only gonna fit one way. Gently press. There we go, just snapped in place. And now we have successfully installed our RAM. Also at this step, while we have the most room to work with, I'm gonna go ahead and install our M.2 drive in the first slot right here. So we have to remove this cover and we'll get it installed. Here's what it looks like with the cover removed. Check this out, this is really cool. So when we install our M.2 drive with this board, it's gonna snap right in. And then we have this little lever right here and it locks it in place, no screw needed. Now we're ready to put this cover back on, but be sure to remove this piece of film before you finish installation. The film has been removed. Go ahead, tighten it back down. There we go, we have successfully installed our M.2 drive. Now with everything else prepped, it's time to finish our cooler installation. I wanna point out again, the really nice design with this cooler and how basically it's off center, giving us more space on this side and flexibility in the future if we want to upgrade our RAM, it's not gonna block anything. We'll still have room for our fan as well too. So in the future that maybe I do wanna come back here and put two extra sticks in. I don't have to remove the whole cooler. If anything, I'll just have to take the fan off. So I'm really a big fan of this design. So we're ready to take the included thermal paste. I'm just gonna give it a little press here on the CPU. It's gonna be about a pea size as you can see. We'll make sure to get all the rest of it out of there. Now we're ready to peel off this cover. Make sure you do that before use. And then you can see how we're gonna line it up with the Be Quiet logo and branding. We're gonna drop it right in place. And while we're doing that, we're also gonna have to come and take this bracket that you see right here with these two screws. That's gonna go like this in between. And we're gonna fasten it in place. So go ahead, you're gonna place this on and line everything up and then fasten it down. Side note, go ahead, place that screw on there first. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. Now just take turns tightening both screws. So you can see we drop our screwdriver in through the top right here. We can line it up and tighten down and then repeat that process right here and continue to work them both until they're nice and snug. So there we go, we have successfully installed the cooler. Now let's go ahead, let's get the fan installed. You may notice right here, I went ahead, I swapped out the included fan with a Be Quiet RGB fan. So this is their Light Wings fan. We got a nice RGB ring right here. I think this is gonna look really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and clip this one right on the side as you see here. Now you can see we have the fan clipped in place on both sides, very simple. You're gonna go ahead, you're just gonna thread that through the fan like you see right here. And then you just press this back until it's clipped into the sides of the cooler. So you can see how that works. Pretty easy, then you can kind of just pull this to get it loose again. And they do give us two additional clips, so if we wanted some more cooling on the other side, we could put another fan right here on the cooler. But there you go, we got the motherboard prepped and all set and ready to go. So now you can see we got the PC built, everything's working great. Now let's go ahead, let's check on the temperature and see how the cooler's doing. So first up, we're looking at our idle temps right here for our CPU, around 42 degrees Celsius. Our motherboard's showing 36 degrees Celsius. We do have the tempered glass panel on, so keep that in mind, the case is fully enclosed, so to speak. Now let's go ahead, let's put the CPU under full load and check on the temps again. So you can see our CPU is currently under 100% load and it has been for over five minutes. And I just actually saw a temperature drop. So it appears we have peaked at 65 degrees Celsius. And now you can see it's holding steady around 63, 64 degrees Celsius. So the cooler is working great and obviously so is the CPU. So now let me share with you my final thoughts after using this cooler. One, it was very easy to install. Two, it's very affordable, very pleased with the price point and the quality of this air cooler. Three is the design is perfect. So they have it offset so you don't block your RAM slots. Even with the 120 millimeter fan installed, I still have access to that fourth slot. I will not even have to remove the fan at all in the future to install some additional memory. But if for some reason you had to remove the fan or you wanna swap it out or add an additional fan, very easy to do with those metal clips. So overall, count me impressed. The only thing I would change is what I did with mine and that was swap out the included fan with a fan that had RGB. Other than that, count me impressed. This is a great deal if you're looking for a fantastic air cooler for your CPU. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. 
Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.